Hey guys, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting, but I've been kind of busy to be honest. Um, just dealing with a lot right now, but we will prevail. <laughs> I did not just snort coke. <laughs> Alright, so if you hear anything in the background real quick, let me just tell you, if you hear anything in the background, it's because I live in the hood, so... <laughs> You're probably going to hear stuff in the background, um, and for that I apologize. But anyways, <laughs> this is the second time I shot this video. The first time I shot it, the microphone, and it's like, I always check the microphone before I film, but the one time I didn't, like, the sound kept cutting in and out, and so I was just like, alright, gotta refilm it. <laughs> Jeez, and it took me like a week to refilm it, but I've been busy, like I said, and just having some you know, personal things, so, I'm, I might film, uh, two videos tonight, so if you see me wearing the, you know, the same, uh, outfit, just mind your business, so, my very first, um, okay, let me just say this, I don't support Lana Del Rey's thinking, like her politics. I believe she said, why are we talking about feminism? We should be talking about uh, Elon Musk. So, I don't agree with her. And I don't necessarily support her image, but... I, and you could just tell by looking at me, I very much love that 60s, 70s look, style, music, um, you know, makeup, and Lana Del Rey is very beautiful, and I love how she, you know, she portrays Marilyn, she portrays uh, Jackie Kennedy, uh, I think that... Even, like, she said she was, like, a gangsta Nancy Sinatra. Like, she's cool, but I don't want you guys to think that I'm, like, her biggest fan ever. Because I'm not. And this first record means a lot to me because I got it the summer I was 19. And that was, um... I guess I could explain to you why these records are special to me, like, different parts of my life. But this was the summer I turned 19, so this is her third album, I believe. And I liked her in high school, but I didn't, like, like love her. And when this album came out, I loved this album, and it's got more of a rock and roll feel to it because... And I'm trying to think of his name, and I think his name is Patrick... Um, but he was in the Black Keys and he produced this. So I think that's why it's got that rock and roll sound. But I like how she has that old school Pepsi peyote shirt. Um, and this was like an alternate, like rare copy. And it was colored. There's a blue one and a purple one. And I definitely have these in paper sleeves. They're not in there smacking together. Um, and I always loved Red Nails because of her, well, and Anna and Nicole, but the, this, this album cover was different, like, normally. I think it was just a pic black and white picture of her. But yeah, great album. Um, she covers Nina Simone, the other woman. She has West Coast, which is one of my all-time favorite songs. Um, and Ultra, uh, she has Shades of Cool, which is also a great song, and, um, like, Pretty When You Cry, they're all great songs, they're sad. Uh, Ultra Violence was a term from A Clockwork Orange, so, and sorry if I seem spacey, I'm just, just roll the joint. Boy, do I live... Living in California, <laughs> So, 
um, this record. <coughs> I love the records from the seventies <coughs> because they're always so happy, <laughs> you know. And <sighs> is this the best of Al Green? Yeah, it's Al Green's greatest hits. Because I was gonna say, damn, every song on this record is a hit. <laughs> Oh, God, I love Al Green. <laughs> I love Al Green. I saw him one time. I went to Outside Lands. This was like 10 years ago with my mom, actually. And it was in San Francisco at Golden Gate Park. Um, I think The Strokes. I don't remember who headlined that day, but it was a rock concert, but Al Green was there. So I got to see him, and that was pretty cool. And you know that scene from Pulp Fiction where... Um, they play let, uh, Let's Stay Together. Let's stay together. Like, you cannot be sad and listen to Al Green, because all that music just got you dancing, got you feeling good, you know? And I remember my friend Ayana one summer, like, years ago, she had this CD, for, and it said, like, please return to the open library. <laughs> and, like, she was just always playing that CD. I think it was this one, Al Green's Greatest Hits, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I also wanted to show you all my, like, Velvet Underground records, but I have some missing, and I have some, like, Lou Reed solo stuff, too, and some of them are missing. Now, here's another one that, like, is just, like, Lana. Um, I've heard that Lou Reed was a really racist man. I heard that Lou Reed was a wife beater. I don't... I don't love Lou Reed like as a person, but as an artist, I do, and it's a thin line, you know, separating the art from the artist. Sometimes you can't. I can't enjoy Mar Marilyn Manson's music. I can't sit there and, you know, rock out to some Marilyn Manson. Like, no. Uh, Harvey Weinstein. But then it's like, well, can you watch... Um, uh, any Quentin Tarantino movie? Can you watch Goodwill Hunting? I think Weinstein produced that. It's like, it's hard, and and even like Baby Driver, because um, I was talking to my friend about Baby Driver the other day, and I was like, you know, questionable guys in that movie. Kevin Spacey's in there, but it's one of my favorite movies ever. So, um, I. If, like, if something came out about Lou Reed saying that, like, he raped a bunch of women or he was, you know, and I, I don't know if I could say that on YouTube, too. Like, I hope that that doesn't demonetize me, but I don't have ads anyway. But if something came out about Lou Reed that was bad, like, really bad, I mean, like, what he did was bad, but I'm just saying, like, something horrific, of course I wouldn't listen to his music anymore. But I really do um, enjoy his art. I think he was a cool poet. And I think he'd been through a lot in his life. Oh my god, Joey's right here. And you know what Joey does? He's known to bite on cords. So I need to watch the microphone. He's got me so nervous right now. I'm just worried about him because it's super hot. It's like 100 degrees today. But anyway, I'm going to do a video about Joey. Um, Joey's my rabbit. I don't know why I assume that you knew who Joey was, but yeah. Um, okay, so let me start off with my Velvet Underground stuff, then my Lou Reed stuff. So I got Loaded. One of the best records ever. Uh, man, this also really reminds me of when I was 19, honestly. I used to listen to this so much. You know, and Oh Sweet Nothing is such a, like, I mean, ev almost every song on here is amazing. There's a couple that, like, I skip. <laughs> wow, 1970. And this is without, uh, fuck, what is her name? Nico. There's a movie about Nico. There's a movie about her on uh, Hulu. You guys should watch it. It's pretty good. Okay, so, yeah. I would like to have the, the real one one day, like, where it peels off. 
but this is cool too and this also really reminds me of when I was 19 I listened to a lot of Velvet Underground when I was 19 um, and I guess it's because it's around the time when I first got my record player so it's funny because there's a song on here called um, Venus in Furs and my spam account on Instagram was called Beavis in Furs Oh, and European Sun, like the guy on Instagram, he's a tattoo artist. I would love to get a tattoo from him one day. Of course, Sunday morning's awesome. I'm waiting for the man. I did a fucking essay on heroin in high school. Not high school, college. And then, of course, I have the Best of Lou Reed, Walk on the Wild Side. It has the price tag on it. Oh, no, that's when I bought it. Okay, $13.95. Um, yeah. Walk on the Wild Side, like, I heard that that was, like, banned on the radio because he said given head, and, 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 yeah, they wouldn't allow that on the radio, or they bleeped it out, but I remember the day that Lou Reed died, I, I think I, it was my first year of college, and I had never really listened to him, but they were playing him on the radio, and I was like, wow, this is a really good song, and, but, and, you know, he really started the glam rock trend I feel like these are so dusty oh my god here's another one I think this one has I love yeah I love you Suzanne that's like the pop the smells like teen spirit of this record so crazy like look at that 80s 80s graphics um here's another one every song on here is good and like there, there's also a movie about Brian Wilson, the singer on Hulu. You guys should watch it if you are into that sort of thing. I love Brian Wilson. I just wasn't made for these times. I want to get a tattoo of that so bad. And you know what? The guy who was in um, Little Miss Sunshine, which is another one of my favorite movies, um... He played the emo kid that didn't talk. He plays Brian Wilson in the movie. Capitol Records. And I think that Paul McCartney said that um, this was the reason why they made Sgt. Pepper or Rubber Soul. One or the other. I don't know. But the Beach Boys are definitely one of my favorite bands. I just, I mean, I'm from California and... It really reminds me of my grandfather, and I mean, this is just a classic album. And their other albums are good, too, and I like their surfing stuff, too. I mean, don't get me wrong, but Pet Sounds is just a masterpiece. Smile is cool, too. That's one that came after Pet Sounds, I believe. But, um, yeah. I really hope that it got all of this because if it doesn't and I have to refilm again, I'm going to be, you know, kind of salty. Oh, you know what? There was one more record. There was one more record. Slayer. And I saw Slayer um, in Oakland at the Fox Theater and Suicidal Tendencies opened or Exodus opened because Exodus is from Oakland, I think. And then I saw Suicidal Tendencies, and I actually met the singer. I think his name's Mikey. I don't remember. But I have a picture. But anyway, that... <laughs> yeah, Slayer. Um, what is this, 1986? 1988. You know what? And it's on Def Jam Records, and, you know, it's, it's produced by Rick Rubin. So, um, that's really cool. And you know what? He... No, that's got to... You know what? I was going to say, he's got an Oakland Raiders shirt on. He has an L.A. Raiders shirt on. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure. I was, like, in love with... <clears throat> I was, like, in love with him. This is so cool, though. Like, I really want to, um... Take a picture and, like, show, like... Dean Del Rey or something. Because I know that guy's into it. I like comedy a lot. So, he's a comedian. But, look... That's so fucking cool. I didn't realize it had the lyrics on here, too. A lot of the times, the old ones have advertising. Like, what what other things the record company has to, to sell. 
this is like fucking historical shit right here. It's old, and I, my nose is running because of these fucking dusty ass records, but. Another great record. So yeah, I'm, I plan on doing a lot of these because I have a lot of records and I have a lot of different stories like that go with, you know, the time period in my life and your collection tells a story. And before I go, I just wanted to say that like there's this part in Almost Famous, uh, which is a Cameron Crowe movie and like the main character, she was like, if you ever get sad and lonely, just go to the record store and see all your friends. <laughs> so that's how I feel a lot because I mean, you know, like I love music so much and it's just a huge passion in my life. Even though I don't, I don't play an instrument, but I appreciate music a lot. So it's just a huge part of my life and I love makeup and I love fashion and I love like um, those types of things, but music's also a huge part of my life, so I can't just cut that out of my, <clears throat> out of my YouTube channel, you know what I mean? So anyways, <laughs> I'm happy you're here, please subscribe, um, I think you could put the post notification bell, and then you'll see when I upload, which is usually in the mornings during the week, because I did a poll on my Instagram, and... Most people wanted to see the videos during the week and during the morning, so that's when I upload. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.